This is the fourth and final video in the four video series on dermatomes, or the area of skin supplied by nerves from a single spinal root. The previous video focused on thoracic dermatomes, and this video will focus on the lumbar and sacral dermatomes. The best way to understand the lumbar dermatome distribution is as a series of V-shaped areas that descend from the suprapubic area to the feet. These are mostly representative of the anterior skin surface, although they do come up and wrap around the back. Additionally, the L5 distribution covers a V-shaped distribution on the plantar surface of the feet. The American Spinal Injury Association has published international standards for neurological classification of spinal cord injury. This publication includes landmarks to determine the lowest dermatome level where sensation remains intact. L1, at a point directly adjacent to the pubic symphysis. L2, on the anterior medial thigh, at the midpoint of a line connecting the midpoint of the inguinal ligament and the medial epicondyle of the femur. L3, at the medial epicondyle of the femur. L4, over the medial malleolus. L5, on the dorsum of the foot at the third metatarsophalangeal joint. Sacral dermatomes extend mostly through the posterior aspect of the lower extremity. S1 covers mainly the lateral half, and S2 covers mainly the medial half, although there is some overlap. S2 and S3 provide sensory information from the anterior genital region. S2, 3, and 4 provide sensation from the perineum, the area between the anus and the scrotum or vulva. S3, 4, and 5 provide sensation as concentric rings surrounding the anus. The landmarks for spinal cord injury are as follows. S1, on the lateral aspect of the heel or the calcaneus. S2, at the midpoint of the popliteal fossa. S3, over the tuberosity of the ischium or infragluteal fold. S4 and S5, in the perianal area less than one centimeter lateral to the mucocutaneous zone. Additionally, it is very important to determine whether voluntary anal contraction is intact, as well as deep anal pressure sensation when assessing for spinal cord injuries. This can make the difference between a complete or incomplete impairment. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.